What goes into a Toyo tire? Technology, using advanced methods. Testing, then retesting to make sure they're just right. Trust, so you're confident you have a tire that does what you need it to do, no matter what the conditions. Technology, testing, trust. Toyo Tires, driven to perform. Spencer is here for the APC United Late Model Series, powered by Grisdale. We're talking all about the inaugural 2015 season. I mean, it's all anyone wants to talk about. I'm here with one of the young rising stars of the pro late model world, none other than Matt Lockwood. And you're getting ready for a full-time uh, full schedule on the tour, my man. Uh, you've got a lot of experience, or a considerable amount of experience of Flamborough, but now you get to spread your wings a little bit, uh, step out of your comfort zone. Tell me about what you've got planned for 2015. Well, we're really looking for a lot of experience in 2015. I, I got really no expectations going into this. Like, Flamborough's my home track. That's where I got all my experience. I've never run anywhere else. So, I mean, to get the, the experiences, you know, especially running all the big name guys out there, I mean, that's just experience in itself. So, especially to add all the tracks and everything, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, has this off season really just been a nonstop countdown to May 23rd at Sunset Speedway for your whole team? No, uh, you have no idea. My, my car's done now and I got nothing to do. So, now, I'm, I mean, now it's a countdown, yeah. I mean, you guys put up some, some real impressive numbers last year. You, you were good in Grisdale Triple Crown competition. Uh, when, when the six-pack series rolled into Flamborough, you guys were good there. So, uh, was that a bit of a shot in the arm for your program to know that, hey, we can come out and compete with the, with the high-dollar teams, we can compete with the big-name guys? Oh, absolutely. It was, I mean, last year I had no expectations at all. I just wanted to go out and get some experience. See time, you know, run with some guys. And, and, and what I did last year was, was far beyond my expectations. I couldn't believe it. I mean, for those that maybe aren't too familiar with you, uh, give me a, a real brief history on, uh, on your competition background and, and what you'd been up to before uh, breaking into the pro late model division. Well, I mean, I did go-karts for a few years. That was a while back. I took a little bit of a break. I mean, I've always worked with Junior Hanley. I mean, he's taught me everything. So, I mean, for, for me to jump into a pro late model, I, I knew the background of a pro late. I knew how they work. So, I mean, for me to just don't jump in and drive one, it made it a little bit easier knowing how they work. So now, uh, will Junior Hanley sort of play a, a role in uh, in your family run program this year on the tour? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, any, anything I need, he's always there. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys see him out on my trailer sometimes, I hope. I mean, uh, he's always over my, he did my car this year. I mean, he clipped it, he did the body. Yeah, I mean, he did uh, it does everything. He's a great guy. So it, it's a brand new clip. I mean, the car looks amazing. It's here at Motorama, it looks awesome. So it's, it's, it's in many ways a brand new race car ready to go for yeah, this year, right? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much, yeah. So what's the history on that on that chassis before you had stepped into it? It, it raced at Flamborough, correct? Uh, it did race at Flamborough, yeah. So Dave Baker owned it first. He, he drove it for two years, I believe. And then uh, we bought it and Scott Lyons drove it as a uh, kind of like a memorial car for Bill Lyons, his dad. Um, always a great guy and uh, and then you know Scott kind of wanted to get out of it he wanted to you know spend some time with his family and he's got a cottage so uh, the opportunity was presented to me and I couldn't pass that down I mean when it when it comes to setup and, and approaching how to get this car ready to, to go to to go to Sunset to go to Sobble to go to Peterborough I mean is, is there right now is it more questions than answers for, for your team well I mean any question I have Junior's always there to answer it so I mean I got lots of I got lots of questions, but I mean he's got lots of answers. So <laughs> that's a good end. That's okay. All right. I mean, what's a reasonable expectation for your team heading in, heading into the first year of the tour? Uh, a lot of unknown, sort of stepping into unfamiliar territory. What what do you want to accomplish uh, so that you can look back at the banquet and say, you know what? Yeah, we had a good yeah, year for sure. Uh, I mean, 43 drivers registered. That's crazy, man. I mean, first off, I'd like to qualify for every race for sure. I mean, if I was, you know, top 15, even top 10, I mean, that'd be amazing. I'd be, that'd be great. Sort of uh, put me in the, put me, put me in, in your, in your shoes. First night out at sunset, what's it going to feel like? What, what's, what's the atmosphere going to be like? Oh, that's a great question. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm stoked. I'm also a little bit nervous. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of big names out there. There's a lot of guys that want to finish up front. Uh, the court, uh, like, you know, along with me. So, I mean, it's a brand new car. I don't even know what it's like to drive yet. So, I mean, I think uh, we're going to go for the practice days and we're going to see what it's like. I mean, hopefully some other guys are out there so we can, you know, kind of base ourselves off of that. And uh, we're going to kind of go from there. I think a lot of the 
one of the big unknowns for some of the drivers that are dropping down from super late model or coming up from limited late model is the tire that we're going to be racing on. Now, you've got some experience on this tire, so yeah. uh, are you thinking that's going to be a, a bit of an advantage for the 15 team? I've never had a problem with this tire. They're a great tire. I, I hope it's an advantage. Um, I've been working with them for a long time, so I mean, yeah, I'm hoping it's an advantage. I mean, none of this happens without the people behind the scenes and the marketing partners, and I know you got a, a slew of folks behind you wanting, wanting you to do well and, and are really excited about this uh, this season, so thank the folks that, uh, that make make all this happen. I mean, I can't thank my family enough. I mean, Bill Grisdale, I mean, he owns the car. I mean, they can't, you know, Grisdale Enterprise, and Grisdale Racing Riding. My dad. Legend. Certified uh, absolutely, legend. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, my dad, Adam, he's, uh, he's down at my place all the time working on this car. Junior Hanley, I mean, I can't do this without him. Uh, I mean, uh, I got a new sponsor this year, A&R. Um, they're great. They came on board. Everyone. Uh, Hino of Hamilton, another business of ours. I mean, mini storage. We got everything. So, <laughs> Where can the fans find you on social media? Because I know you're going you're gonna to be crisscrossing the province. You're going to pick up some new fans. Where can they check you out? Uh, right now, I don't have anything. But, I mean, hopefully before the season, I will. I mean, I, I'm on Facebook myself and Matt Lockwood. But... Other than that, I don't have anything right now. We'll so. sort you out. We'll get we'll get All you right, set right, up. Yeah. We'll get you set up. Make sure you guys come out to Sunset Speedway for the for the opener for the APC United Late Mall Series. Powered by Grisdale. Mr. Lockwood here. It might be uh, one of the surprises. Thank you so much for the time, sir, and best of luck in 2015. Thank you.